In this one, we're gonna go over this, a churro donut. It's just a beautiful, fluffy, crispy churro with pumpkin spice, and then we've got this pumpkin spice egg cream all over that. First off, I put my pot on a scale so I can measure all my ingredients. It makes it so much easier. So get yourself a scale. If not, I'll have everything measured out in cups down below. So start off with the water, the butter, sugar, pinch of salt, and we bring that up to a simmer. So once this stuff comes to a boil, we want to immediately toss our flour in and then take a wooden spoon and just stir that up. Once that flour is fully incorporated, we toss that into a mixer and then we immediately start mixing it with the paddle and toss in our eggs one at a time. I did two whole eggs for this recipe. One of the most important parts of this is I use a reusable piping bag. It's a lot tougher than a plastic disposable guy. When I use the plastic ones, it tends to pop at the end because this is such a thick dough, it'll just pop out. So I use a thick star piping tip. Don't get your fingers stuck in these guys, very dangerous. Also, you could put this in a container like a cup so it holds up and it's easier to just scoop your dough in. You don't wanna overfill these guys cause that could be kind of hard on your wrist. What I like to do is give it a little twisty twist. Then my index finger can go in here and that just makes it a lot easier on my wrist. On to the piping. I take a really well greased sheet tray, just like this one. And I just take some cornstarch and I do a light dusting all over the sheet tray so the dough does not stick. If you don't do this step, the dough's gonna stick. I guess you could try parchment paper, but it might just stick to that. Cornstarch all over that. Then we pipe our churros. I'm doing churro donuts. So these are gonna be little circles. I take my finger and I dip it in the cornstarch so I can just lightly press down on the dough and release it. I'm piping them out on a sheet tray so I can get this perfect donut shape. You can also do lines if you want. You could do circles, whatever, a pumpkin. Try different shapes. Now I just toss them into some rice oil that's around 320 degrees Fahrenheit. You can use any other neutral oil like canola, grapeseed, sunflower, you get it. Toss them into the oil, fry them off until GBD all around, golden brown and delicious. And then we're gonna toss them onto a rack on a sheet tray so all that oil drains and settles. And then I'm gonna sprinkle in this concoction I made of maple sugar plus our basic spice, pumpkin spice, that you can see in the ingredients down below. If you wanna learn how to make this basic pumpkin spice, I'll just link the video down below. Then I'm gonna drizzle on this frosting that I made which is powdered sugar and milk. Once our churros are done, they're done. You can serve them as is, they're delicious like this. See, see? But I wanna do this delicious pumpkin egg cream. This is basically the exact same recipe that I did in that video down below. Anyways, all it is, is in a stand mixer, egg yolks. Whip that up until they're nice and fluffy. Once they're nice and fluffy, we add in the sweetened condensed milk and then we whip that up. And then once that's fluffy, we add in our pumpkin. I just did canned pumpkin in there with the basic spice. Mix that up really well. And as you can see the mixer I'm using, the whisk didn't like touch all the way down because there wasn't enough liquid. So I kind of just like held it up and it worked. Just do it by hand if you want, or add more liquid, make more stuff for more people, add more ingredients <laughs> and it'll work. That's how I make this beautiful pumpkin egg cream. This is also really good on a coffee. Now, once our pumpkin egg cream is done, all there is left to do is plate it up. Now you can just put this pumpkin egg cream into like a ramekin and dip your donut and call it a day, or you can make a nice little plate. Pumpkin egg cream on the plate. I did some crushed toasted pepitas, a little bit of flowers, marigolds, and then the donut right on top of there. And we've got this beautiful little dish. Let me turn this light off so it looks cool. There you go. Pumpkin spice churro nut. Tronut, churro nut, churro donut. What should we call it? Comment down below. What should we call this? I don't know what to call this. I haven't even tried it yet. Let's see if it's good. <laughs>